Yesi yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. Yesterday, Daily Nation in Taifa Leo carried a very interesting story. Urais, Kalwale Afichua Siri. If you go through that story, Taifa Leo reported that Western Kenya leaders led by Bonia Luale are now claiming that William Ruto promised to support a leader from Western come 2032. That's what Taifa Leo is reporting. And if that's true, that Ruto plans on doing that, then it's a fact. William Ruto will most definitely betray the mountain because from the look of things, Mount Kenya residents and their leaders are expecting that William Ruto will support somebody from the mountain come 2032. That's what a good majority of Mount Kenya residents and even their leaders are expecting. Today, regarding a shagwa, seemingly responding to that story, had this to say. Kwa sababu sisi ni wangwana, sisi kitu hatupendi ni usaliti. Ukitu saliti tutakuchukia. Na yule alisaliti William Ruto na haku wa mtoto wetu, lakini tukaona ni mbaya kwa sababu hatupendi usaliti. Tukasema huyu mume saliti huyu. Huyu munaangaisha. Huyu munatharau. Huyu diyo tutainua, diyo tuoneshe njini hatupendi usaliti. Those remarks were made in front of William Samoy Ruto. So in a nutshell, Rigadi was sending a very strong warning to William Ruto. Jaribu kunisaliti wone. And I'm saying that because regarding a shago by the virtue that is the deputy president, he is seen as the first amongst equal on the mountain leaders to succeed William Samoy Ruto. And it's widely expected that William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanza Brigade will support Rigadi after William Samoy Ruto. So Rigadi is just fighting for his political future. And he's doing that by giving a very strong warning to William Samoy Ruto. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Listening very keenly to Rigadi Gashagwa, it's either Rigadi has realized William Ruto plans on betraying him, or Rigadi is just a leader who is impatient. There's something coming out very, very clearly. And listening to Rigadi, it's a fact he has, is giving that warning because of the story that was carried yesterday by Daily Nation in Taifa Leo. That story has scared Rigadi Gashagwa. And for him to hurriedly organize a meeting in Nyeri to give that warning to William Ruto, it just confirms that there is trouble in paradise. There are serious suspicions in Kenya Kwanzaa. And for those who can remember, because yesterday we did an, an analysis where Rigadi was warning Kipchumba Murkumen for speaking in Kalenjin. Rigadi seriously gave a strong warning to Kipchumba Murkumen. And he made it clear that there are some insiders around William Samoy Ruto. I'm seeing a regarding a who has realized 
William Ruto is slowly but surely dumping him. That's coming out very, very clearly. And then secondly, I'm seeing Arigadi Gashagwa who is just trying to consolidate his support base on the mountain. And it appears regarding from where I sit, regarding seems to understand the psychology of the mountain. He knows how he tunes that psychology. First of all, regarding has made Rail Odinga his main target. And he's preying on the political immaturity of some residents of the mountain who for you to be seen to be working, all you need to do is just to attack Rail Odinga and to paint the low community in bad light. There is that section on the mountain and Rigadi has really studied their psychology. That's why every now and then he is trying to bring up the story of Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga, just to be get favors, rather to gain favors with that constituency. Whether that will succeed or whether that will be sustainable, only time will tell. Whether the people will actually change the way they play their politics on the mountain, it's only time that will tell. But one thing for sure, Rigadi is still holding on to the bad ethnic politics of yesteryears, where you just need to abuse somebody to gain favors from your people. As I conclude, the sentiments by Rigadi Gashagwa goes on to confirm that we might start in the coming days we might start seeing some open confrontations in Kenya Kwanza Alliance. The war between William Ruto and Uru Kenyatta started just it, it all started just like this one of Ruto and Rigadi. We never knew that it could be all that serious the way we saw it happen. In the case of Rigadi and William Ruto, I'm seeing a repetition. William Ruto and Rigadi Gashago will most definitely part ways. That's something coming out very, very clearly. They will most definitely part ways. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily before 2027, but eventually these two leaders will part ways. That's what I can see if I project what's currently happening and what happened between Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any other person who may want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. Sima itakuja inaijae kwa sababu sisi tumeamua. Kwa sababu sisi watu wapale. Kwanza sisi ni wangwana. Na sisi ni watu tunapenda haki. Na juu ya hayo sisi ni wakristo. Sisi mtu haja kosea sisi. Hatuwezi piga. So huyu William Ruto alikuwa ametutendea mema. Alikuwa ametupenda ametutembelea tumemuelewa tumeelewana tumeona hako na sera tumeona hako na maono alafu mwingine akatuambia tumpige atu wamekosana tukamuuliza mkikosana sisi tulikuweko hatukuweko 
sisi ni watu tuko na miaka nane kwenda juu kila mtu ako na kitabuli sasa mtu yuko na kitabulisho utambebea akili sasa tukawambia yule mtu ya kwetu wewe piga kura yako pale unataka na bibi yako na watoto sisi tumejipangana na hii kijana ya Kipteres tumepanga tumemaliza sasa sisi ni kugojea si siku kwa sababu sisi ni wangwana sisi kitu hatupendi ni usaliti ukitusaliti tutakuchukia na yule alisaliti William Ruto na hakuwa mtoto wetu lakini tukaona ni mbaya kwa sababu hatupendi usaliti tukasema huyu mmesaliti huyu huyu mnaangaisha huyu mnadharau huyu ndio tutainua ndio tuoneshe nyinyi hatupendi usaliti